Hello students, welcome to AgriClarity. Our today's topic of discussion is Unified Genetic Chip. A Unified Genetic Chip is a type of DNA microarray technology that can analyze thousands of genetic markers, that is SNPs, in a single test. It is essentially a glass slide or silicon chip embedded with probes that detect specific DNA sequences from animals or plants. In simple terms, it's like a genetic fingerprinting tool used to read and compare genes of an organism quickly, accurately and on a large scale. How it works? Number 1. DNA is extracted from the plant or animal. Then the next step is the DNA is broken and labeled with fluorescent tags. Number 3. It is applied to the chip where it binds to complementary DNA probes. Next step is a scanner reads the hybridization pattern to identify the genetic variations. Now let's look at uses of unified genetic chip in agriculture. Number 1. Genomic selection in livestock. Health selects superior animals for breeding based on genetic traits. Example used in cattle and buffalo for traits like milk yield, disease resistance and fertility. Number 2 crop improvement, number 3 breed traceability and conservation that is it helps track the genetic purity and ancestry of native breeds useful for conserving indigenous species like gale, sahiwal etc. Number 4 early disease detection identifies genetic marker for disease susceptibility in animals and plants. Number 5 reducing generation interval speeds up breeding cycle by selecting the best animals early using genomics. Let's talk about India's achievement in unified genetic chip. India developed its own Indigao, the world's largest cattle chip for indigenous breeds by National Institute of Animal Biotechnology that is NIAB. You should remember that NIAB is located in Hyderabad. I have already covered this in the previous shots. I think you remember it. Okay, now let's look at some practice questions. Number 1. Which Indian institute developed the Indigao cattle chip? Number 2. The Indigo chip is specifically designed for which type of livestock? Here are your options. Now let's look at question number 3. Unified genetic chip technology is based on which of the following? Next is, what is the main function of a unified genetic chip in agriculture? I hope you will be able to answer all of them. Write the answers in the comment section. We have also come up with a series known as Clarity Talks. So if you are having any kind of doubts as to your preparation or the strategy, or sometimes building your mental health you can watch those videos and if you have already watched it let me know in the comment section if you are finding them useful for more such exam related stuff subscribe to the channel